morning. What is going on, people? Today's Thursday. We are officially four days out, so very, very happy. And generally, I wake up, I do a little bit of posing upstairs, I read a few pages of a book, and then I come downstairs, wake Carl up, and I'm like, Carl, take some pictures in the garage. And we've just taken some pictures, and every single day I'm getting better. Definitely, conditions coming through as I'm getting fuller. Um, especially from the back, I'm like, lose from my lower back, so. I'm definitely happy. Uh, so, as you can see, all the cupboards are open. Meg hates that. Let's just close it while she comes downstairs. Right, so, I generally wake up and like get all bits ready for the day. So, I make Meg's coffee. I've made Carl's coffee. I've got my coffee. So, at first, I do hydrate, get my coffee down, and then I do some vacuum work. Just keep squeezing it in and holding it in. Um, but generally the routine looks the same, apart from I am getting up a little bit earlier now. As today I actually got up at quarter past four, so a little bit early, but I do go to bed at like quarter to eight, so nice early start for you all. Um, today, again, I'm going to show you all the meals, I'm going to show you everything in detail, and today will be our last push session before the show, so very excited. And to be honest, for me, on a personal level, it's been a massive success this year because I've done everything that I needed to do. I've made massive improvements and I've set myself up for the future doing this, knowing that I can pursue my dreams and do what I need to do in a way that I want to do as well. But I'll touch a little bit more on that later on. For now, we're gonna get the day started, although the day has already started, I'm 45 minutes into my day. Um, just gonna get a reminder of the bitch ready. Then I'm gonna go upstairs, take my first set of pictures, bastard, after a little bit of hydration, and then my second lot of pictures I actually had before breakfast, and then we'll take more pictures post-workout as well to see how things look after training. Um, so again, assessing the look as the day goes by, meal by meal, um, just to kind of know exactly what we need to do for the stage and the show day. Um, but anyway, looking forward to taking you along the ride and I was showing you the daily process. Let's go. Carl, get your coffee down in. It's tremendous. It is and, good. And it's a strong one, so. It yeah, is good. That's good. That sweetness took the edge off it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, stevia. Stevia, guys, remember, always stevia. Yeah, she's, she's a lot tired today. So, had a little bit extra food yesterday, and she's just gone. Whoop. So, yeah, it's a very, very good look. I am very pleased with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, she's fuller, leaner, and tighter. That's exactly what I want. And the problem with Meg is as well, it's like yesterday I gave her more food and I knew she didn't want to have it as well. <laughs> but look at the difference today, it's ridiculous. Good. Beautiful. I didn't tense it because they didn't like that. I know, but I, I want to see. You want to see. Yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> Just shit that dog, please. You just look like a lot harder. You know what I mean? Like even standing there, she just looks tighter, harder and fuller. Beautiful. some fun to do the front power pose please yeah beautiful right. so my first round of posing I actually do with no pants on so you're not going to see that but you're going to get some C highlights with my pants on my second round of posing Meg takes me through my posing every single morning as uh, she doesn't actually do posing coaching but she helps her clients with posing and she helps me in my posing, and she's really the only person I trust when it comes to posing. Uh, no particular reason, it's just, I know that over the years of coaching now, she's not only developed, and I as a coach, that I'm confident in that I don't really need anyone else apart from her for future preps. 
to make accurate decisions, but not only that, but yeah. when it comes to posing, well, Megan Jordan, but when it comes to posing as well, like she, she really knows her stuff, like really does. So anyway, first round to go, she's gonna film it for me and then she's gonna take my pictures on the second round. She actually makes me hold my poses hard as well, so yeah. I just want to do it anyway, just for practice. Is that right? If you do it on stage. I'm not going to do it on stage. If you do it on stage, I'm going to get up there, I'm going to boot him off. Every morning, a little bit of daylight exposure, which is key. I actually love where I live. It's uh, very peaceful. And I love walking around the woods. I don't go to the route that Meg goes, but I do have a lot of stroll around. So, 10 minute walk, take Carl, do a little bit of a, a round, a bit of daylight exposure, and then we're actually gonna take pictures again. I'm gonna take pictures of Meg again. I'll do my own pictures in daylight, after hydration and after water. So, that's the plan. So, generally we'd both do like four rounds of posing before we actually even eat meal one. Um, so, yeah, a lot of posing, a bit of walking, a lot of food today. So, extra food again today for both me and Meg, so we'll show you all the meals, meal, meal by meal. Um, and just show you all the whole day. Uh, we both have a push session today as well. Uh, I'm not, is Katie training with you? If Katie isn't training with you, Meg is actually going to train with me as well. Um, so it's going to be nice because we'll just be able to get to train together. Um, yeah. What? You're training with me? Yeah, Katie's doing legs. Yeah, so it'll be nice. I actually love training with her, so it's good. Right, I'm going to get a little drink and then we'll go. I love this. Uh, every day, I actually have to do this. Like, I'm not. I'm not supposed to be doing many steps at the moment, but it's. Uh, I feel like just getting some fresh air and going out and getting some daylight exposure makes a world of a difference. Just to how you feel, and getting some fresh air as well. Getting some fresh air, getting some movement first thing in the morning. I think it's so undervalued. I think mentally, it just switches you on so much. So, best piece of advice I can give to anyone that's struggling physically or mentally start moving more and actually get outside and do something and at times whether you want to listen to a podcast or not i think sometimes what is quite valuable is just walking in silence a bit of nature around you i think it can do you a world of good to be honest
tells me that's better. Yes. My turn. Could you send them to me so I just don't have to do them in my So I'm one. I've got 150 grams of venison, 150 grams of venison, 125 grams of raw white rice, 100 grams of pineapple. Meg has just devoured 125 grams of rice, uh, one whole egg, and 100 ml of egg whites. So that is how we begin the day. So game time. you need to be again if you bend that leg too much it looks a bit odd okay. it's just a gentle bend so you can shift that hip more that's perfect you literally look perfect today that, we just need to get you on stage that's it that's better now yeah. Yeah. I still think you can stand up taller because you're like still bending into it because when you stand up straight like this, you look a lot better. So stand up straighter, straighter, exhale, straighter. Don't lean back. Straighter means straight, not back. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Way better. It works good, but it still needs to be a lot sharper. So you've still got a few days to really nail it down. That's it. Don't let that rib ribcage lift. Just keep um. forcing it down. That that's right. That's a neutral spine. Yeah. Right? That's your poor, poor, poor posture. Not like this. Okay. You get into that shot and you're like this. See that? 
that's where you need to be. Right, hold that. Hold that down, down, down. Right, that's where you need to be. Yeah. Your rib cage, you keep lifting them up. Even now. You lift them up, it just squares you off because it makes your midsection look bigger. And when you're stood like this, your midsection is tiny. But if you extend your rib cage, it's like you're just pushing everything out. You don't want to do that. You need to really keep that posture in that side shot. Does it almost when you do that front shot? If you turn into it without keeping your posture, it'll force you to do this. But you need to be more mindful of literally. See what I did there when I push, right? Force your boobs down. In you, you almost nailed it then. Force your boobs down. Boobs down more. And open. Wait till you sit upstairs. Do you get it now? Yeah. Force your tits into your abs. Very rude, but very, very accurate. That's probably one way to get across. Hip position's perfect. Now straighten that leg out more. Tits into the stomach. Way better. Even when you do that, force it down. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Exactly where it needs to be. Right. See how little that looks now? Yeah. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. When you lift up, it just makes you look so square, look at that. And that can still even tighter if you really bring that down. Yeah. So do that again, go for all your posing again, and just cue, forcing this down, right? Okay. It's this portion where you need to, not here, here, okay. where you need to tuck it down and in. So right. literally, see that? Yeah. Just contract these, right. I've it from yesterday. Beautiful. Wait, it was the same this morning. Good, no changes. Def you, you look perfect. You don't need to change a single thing though. Just need to get on stage. Yeah. That's it. Lovely. grams of chicken, 100 grams of rice and some vegetables. Are you sure? Yep. Cooper's is 125 grams of cream of rice. Um, I'm not too sure on grammages of weight. Um, 100 grams of berries and then an omelette. That's normally my meal one but I fancied my venison this morning so swap the meals around. So pre-workout meal going down, no changes apart from pineapple once it arrives. The only change we have is Meg actually has 25 grams of extra rice. But the actual meals are the same as they have been. No changes, just extra carbohydrates in place. Um, and that's it. Uh, no added salt, no added sugar ketchup on top. A little bit of organic kimchi. And there she goes. Just waiting for Meg to come down. And then I'll shall begin. So, looking forward to this session actually. It's not gonna be any fireworks, just uh, 
a nice de-volume session, get things moving and continue the days. Tomorrow is Friday and it's the day of travel. So yeah, I think Meg's pretty much got everything prepared and checked three times over again. So won't be a problem. Basically just a case of getting there, unpacking and relaxing. But first, we're actually gonna get an early session in, get the pull day done, and then that will be over in terms of training, ready for the weekend, so cannot wait. And then abs with me. Yeah. You do, you're doing the same, so you're doing lateral with me, while I'm doing flat prime, you're doing gym shop next to me, and then prime shoulder press. And then while I'm doing cable fly for peck, you're gonna do prime shoulder lateral. And then cross body extension with me. And then I'm not sure if you wanna do a set of calves today. Maybe a set of calves and a set of abs. Two sets of abs and then a set of calves. Five minutes. Could you get my timer please? Game time. Yeah, boy. Right, piss time, and then it's go time. It's pretty much what we say. It's a short and sweet session. All right, nine working sets total, so very easy. Chilled, I would say, which I do not like, but it's kind of needs must. Uh, but nevertheless, we'll get the job done. And then, yeah, that's that. Today, one more session, and then it's game time for us both. Obviously, Meg's gonna train with me today and tomorrow. As I kinda wanna make sure she don't overdo it. Uh, she's very much on point, but she's just a little bit too flat this morning. So she's eating more food, although she don't want to. She's doing editing about it. But she definitely needs it. And tomorrow she'll wake up and she'll be like, oh, actually I needed it. The main telltale points with Meg, when she's flat, is on a front shot. Her delts don't really have any pop or roundness to it. And they really did this morning. She's detailed, lean as she's ever been. But again, she's flat. Condition isn't really showing quite as well. Um, and it will show much better tomorrow. And come Sunday, she'll be perfect. Obviously, higher day today allows us to have not higher day close to the show, which makes more sense. So, happy days. Bye. Perfect. Like that is a perfect starting point for the off season now because we've got a little bit of body fat back on you yeah. where you're healthy yeah. and you feel good, but you're still extremely lean. So if anything, your condition from here is probably gonna improve. Yeah. yeah, which is ideal scenario, do you know what I mean? Yeah, beautiful. New training, all good? Yeah. Loving it? Yeah. Good. First leg day back down. I'm not looking forward to it. So maybe body else, can I swap the normal ones on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just can't. Yeah, fine. You sure? That's, that's the problem? Yeah. Yeah, no dramas. Bring that shoulder around more. There we go, yeah. Beautiful. Yes, good. Like condition wise, body composition wise as well. It's such a yeah. perfect start point. It's such a perfect start point as well. I'm back down to 140 today. Good. Sorry. We'll kind of want to start slowly uh, yeah. titrating things up now, yeah. yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Wicked. Anything you want to ask me before we begin? You ready to start Monday? Yeah, I'll go on holiday Monday. When you're back, when yeah. you're back. We'll start when you're back. back on Friday. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll start when you're back. So send me over your dates, exactly when you're back and everything yeah. else, on uh, WhatsApp, Yeah. and I'll build out the timeline and everything else. And if there's any questions, obviously just fire them through. Yeah. All good with everything? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm better now. I just, I think because I didn't sort of know when I was going to start and like, yeah. the training is just like, I'm just waiting to go on holiday. Yeah, yeah. It's like, Mate, once you come back from holiday, you'll be super fresh. Yeah. The body will be ready to go, and then it's game time, do you know what I mean? So. Do you have train out there, or? Two sessions. Yeah. But only if you feel like it. Okay. If you don't feel like it. I was going to do a push and then a pull, and then maybe. Mate, yeah. if you feel like it, do it. If you don't, just yeah. rest. Yeah. You're away on holiday. Just be sensible with food, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, you don't I'm come gonna, back. Yeah. I'm going to take the scale. Yeah, yeah, perfect. 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 Before, Just have downtime yeah. so you're ready, both physically and mentally when you're back. Yeah. Cool. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We'll be in touch anyway because you're still yeah. checking it. You'll be checking tomorrow? Or? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Alright? Cool. Because yeah. that minute it's just, it's our frequent check ins anyway. Well, I'll build out your timeline and obviously cool. get the sheet updated and shit yeah. like that, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Right, wicked, bro. See you later, have a good one. I know, I told you you needed food. <laughs> Honestly, right. Just record this, right? Tomorrow, you'll be filming a check-in, and she's gonna be like, oh my God, I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait, and then you're gonna fucking play that back to her. It will happen on show day. It will happen on show day. It's gonna look insane. Is that your set? Is that your set? I've got a couple more warm-ups. A little bit of activation work before pressing. Still, still keep everything as standard as we possibly can. And still use some load for the training. We're not gonna go completely soft. However, it is the volume training, so the goal isn't really to break down the muscle tissue. The goal is to more so keep what's there and just keep things stimulated to a degree.
Good. Nice. Good. Well done. Easy. for another look. Have a good time. Next week. We're going to fucking send it after the show and after a little bit of a rest. That's what we can do. Until then, though, stay calm. Stay calm and collect us. So, all these. That's enough now, that's enough. I'll work with that. Class. No, no. Mojito and PS, it actually tastes unreal. It genuinely tastes like a mojito. It's unreal.
that works. stretch right my people so Meg has got 125 grams of cream of rice and I have 150 with 100 grams of strawberries and Meg has 100 grams of strawberries as well so again mixture of fructose and glucose just to replenish the glycogen stores in the liver as well post workout so we're going to get this down obviously slightly less protein just to improve the digestion um, I'm still on the flatter side, so condition isn't really showing, especially my legs. My legs seem to be a little bit sore still, so I'm gonna have to just stay off them over the next few days, uh, and hopefully Meg can do all the moving rather than me. Uh, but anyway, we'll eat this now, and then we'll head home, and then we can chill and relax, um, and then we'll show the next meal. But yeah, hope you enjoy the session, guys, and we'll catch you at home soon. Mouse is under fridge, can you hear it again? That what? That mouse is under fridge, can you hear it again? So, this is uh, the final meal of, of today, which is 100 grams of cream of rice, 150 grams of berries, some dark chocolate and some whey, and um, see how we wake up tomorrow. I'm excited to shave my body tomorrow, because that is the day of that, and the hair wash, before getting some makeup on this skeleton face. <laughs> and getting my hair done all nice and lovely. One of my lovely clients, Doxy's actually coming to do that. Um, we're, we're actually staying in Birmingham on um, Sunday morning, so I don't actually have to travel anywhere. And she did my, a couple of my clients who competed last weekend, and they looked amazing, so I'm really excited for it. But that is our last meal, Cooper's is pretty much identical, just I think it's an extra 50 grams of cream of rice compared to mine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat it now. I'm gonna watch The Force with Cuba and then obviously we will go to bed. <laughs>